Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and my name is Support Likens. Team speak name is Likens. In game name is Kyle Marshall135. Um, <clears throat> today I'll be doing a video on showing you how to put your the mods into your Arma 3 so you can play with us. Okay, so first, what you're gonna want to do is when you have the three mods and replace file. Um, no, there is one called, I think, a CBA and A3L come together in one. I'm not sure. I have to go read down them and look them up. But uh, you're going to get a at A3L and a at CBA underscore A3 and at Lakeside and then a file called replace files. All right. Sorry, I'm a little slow today. I'm not feeling good. So what you're going to want to do is open up your file explorer, which is your little computer icon. You want to go to your Windows directory, which is for me, it's just Windows at C. <clears throat> Wherever you put your Steam folder at, you're going to want to go there. So right now it's in my program files x86. Uh, Steam, Steam apps, common, Arma 3, and I'll show you all the mods so far that you have here. This is where you want to do it. Okay, so now you have this opened. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag A3L. Lakeside and CBA uh, underscore A3 into your uh, Arma 3 uh, freaking directory. Um, <clears throat> don't have to drop them in the add ons folder or anything like this launcher. You just drop them straight into the actual folder itself. Just looking for the A3L, CBA A3. And me, I just had normal CBA, but I've had that for a while. Um, and Lakeside near. That step right there is complete. Now for the replace files, what you're going to want to do is open your add-ons folder right above Battle Liar and Creator. Um, open that up and it's going to show you a whole bunch of add-ons and etc etc for Armor 3. Open the replace files, drag all of these into here, make sure you actually have them all in here. Once that is done, that step is complete, and your job is done, and you can now load up to the game and load up into Arma 3. I hope this has helped you guys, and I hope this does help you, and want to know how to install it, and I will see you guys later.